Well, hello everyone. How you doing? It's Grandpa Hickory. Hope you got your coffee. I got my tea. Uh, can't believe it's already this Saturday morning. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, this time's flying by. Today's the 21st already. This month's flying by so fast. It's just unbelievable. Uh, almost time to pay rent again in nine days. Isn't that something? I just paid it and got to turn around and pay it again. It's a short month. 30 days in September. Oh, you know, I, I got a bunch of little, you know, rescue cats and everything. And I was telling them this morning they, they're doing all kinds of things. I told them, I said, hey, let's be constructive, not destructive. Because them little things, they're just running all over the place, climbing all over things. They're tearing everything up. They broke my blinds. You can't see it. It's behind you. But they broke another set of blinds. There's three set of blinds that I got to replace in this apartment before I move out. Of course, I don't have a place to move to yet. And, you know, it's just the way it is when you have little ones and they, uh, they have a lot of energy. They need their own place. And that's why I want to move out in the country and have a little place off the grid and I'll have a good time out there. Hey, have you heard about the Shine 2.0? Well, it's 2.0, not 2.0. It's 2.0. Shine 2.0. It's a, a small windmill and it's got like a 12-foot pole, an extension pole, and you can set it up anywhere, off-grid, uh, out fishing, out hunting on a hunting trip, uh, miles from nowhere up in the mountains or whatever and you can charge your cell phone your laptop your computer um <clears throat> you know your laptop and everything no no baby get in get in but that's uh that's a wonderful thing i'm glad i found out about it because see i'm trying to get all my ducks in a row and find out about all of these things just like uh i've been looking <clears throat> at wheat berries uh, obtaining wheat berries and making my own flour. But I'm not going to do all this stuff until I move, because I was looking yesterday on Amazon, and they got a, a mill, and it's uh, $299 plus tax. You might as well say 300 bucks plus tax. And uh, But it does everything. It's really wonderful. And uh, I saw the uh, manufacturer's little video they had on it, and I was very impressed for it. That's the meal that I want. It's the classic. And, uh, but I'm not going to get it because I'm here in the city and, and I got these, uh, these big old uh, things of flour right here. The only thing I don't like about this is this is processed. And uh, when you've got wheat berries, you can make your own flour. And when you make your own flour, it's much more uh, uh, beneficial for you. And it's uh, it's extremely good for you. It's my other flour. It's all-purpose flour. And uh, I make bread. And uh, this is my bread pan right here. I got it full of stuff. But I have a cast iron. I have a cast iron bread pan. And this is what I use. And I put parchment paper in here. And then I put my dough in there and I put it in the oven. Cook it for about an hour and then I bake it. Then I pull it back out and I just pull the parchment paper up and the whole loaf comes out. And that stays just as clean. Well, you can see it. Stays just as clean as it was. And that's what I do. I use parchment paper. And uh, that is really, really good stuff to have. Uh, I had some right here I was going to show you, but this is my parchment paper right here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is my parchment paper that I use when I make my bread. And uh, you can also uh, uh, use it making biscuits. So it just it just really comes in handy, people. But listen, we, we got to be constructive. We don't need to be destructive. And by this also, I mean in our lives, in our daily living. When we come in contact with people, be kind to your fellow man, to your neighbor. Be kind to people you meet. 
I went to a, a store. I stopped by a lottery ticket. I went through Joshua, Texas, and uh, I, I drove way over there. Uh, I was doing some errands and things, and I stopped there and bought me a lottery ticket at a, Va a Valero station. And this guy was standing up there blocking the whole uh, cash register. So I, I stood back away from him. You know, I always put a gap between me, about six feet between me and the person in front of me. I just always have done that out of courtesy. Well, he stood there and he paid. Well, the man on the other side of the counter, he leans over and says, yes, sir, uh, can I help you? Well, I'm, this guy's blocking me. I told him, hey, settle down now. Y'all quit jumping on them boxes. And uh, they're jumping over each other like leapfrog. <laughs> but um, any road, he, he just stood there. Well, I, I told the man what I wanted, and I got my money ready, my $3 to give him. I think it was a Powerball. And... Uh, the guy, he stepped to the side. Well, I stepped up to pay the man. And that guy pops off at me and says, Sir, uh, that's my drink right here on the counter. I said, oh, I said, well, excuse me, you know. He says, yeah. The guy was wanting to start a confrontation with me. But I very quickly defused the situation. And that's what you do with people. You see, he wants to destruct and I want to construct. So there's a difference between construction and destruction. And I'm talking about, you know, in human behavior also. Not only in little kitty cat behavior, but in human behavior. And I, I'm kind to others. They don't even have to ask me to forgive them. I forgive them and go, on. hey, I'm going forward with the Lord. And you need to do the same thing. Listen, uh, <laughs> the one that with whom we have to do is watching us. And our lives are short. You say, well, you're a grandpa. Or you're 73 years old. You're a grandpa. Well, friend of mine, every year, whether you realize it or not, you're getting older and older every year as time passes by. Now, when you're young and everything, you have this feeling like it It'll go on forever. That's the way I was. I believed it'd go on forever. When me and my wife got married and, and the preacher said, till death do you part, me and her, we just looked at each other. We smiled because we were married for eternity. Wow, there wasn't going to be no death. There wasn't going to be no dying. Well, my wife died and I'm a widower. And, you know, years go by and you get older and you look around and you're like, wow, I mean, like me, Everybody I went to school with except for one person is dead. And we don't even keep in touch. You know, I tried to keep in touch years ago with them, but they wouldn't call me. They wouldn't do anything. I gave them my phone number and everything. They wouldn't even call me. They wouldn't do anything. So I, I just I just went on. And I, I, I think they're dead now. I think they're dead now. I think they're deceased. But everybody, just about everybody I worked with is are deceased. Every one of them are dead. And they died in their 50s. So, you know, me and my brother was talking about that. My brother's turning 77, and uh, he's a retired uh, chief warrant officer, U.S. Army, retired. And uh, he was telling me that all the warrants and everything that, that, that he was with have passed away. They're all dead. They're all gone. Everybody that he was in basic training with, Fort Polk, Louisiana, and the advanced army training that he was in, uh, everybody's dead but him. He's the only survivor. So, you know, you look around and people, what kind of people do we need to be? Well, I suggest that we be constructive and not destructive. But hey, listen, you have a good day. Uh, I'm asking you to hit the like button and Invite you to subscribe to my channel. You have a wonderful day and you enjoy your coffee. I'm going to enjoy my tea. I'm trying to get awake. I got so much cleaning and stuff to do. I, I tell you what, it just seems like there's always something to do, isn't it? Hey, see you on the next video. Goodbye from Texas. This is Grandpa Hickory. You have an excellent Saturday. Bye for now.